a white plaque for Pembroke College, a coat of arms, students sitting on a lawn. Pembroke College, Oxford, a student stands outside. Welcome to Pembroke College, Oxford. I'm Charles and I'm a third year undergraduate studying history and English. In this video, we will take you on a tour around our college, giving you an insight into college life along the way. From student facilities, the application process to accommodation, we've got all the major bases covered. Some links will pop up on your screen along the way, and you can follow these to find out more information. So why don't you come on inside? Charles walks through a doorway and past an office, then stands outside on the quad. This is the lodge. It's the main entrance to the college. And this is where you can find the porters. There is a porter on duty 24-7, and they're here to help with all kinds of things, from keeping the college safe, to replacing lost room keys, and to providing a friendly face throughout your time as part of the Pembroke community. Let's head over now to the junior common room to meet Hope and find out more about it. In speeded up footage, Charles follows a path around the green quadrant lawn passing cream stone buildings. In a common room with a pool table. I'm JCR president this year. The JCR stands for the junior common room, which represents the undergraduate student body here at Pembroke. The JCR committee is made up of around 20 reps, all of them in their second year, and this includes academic reps, arts, sports and welfare reps, alongside Liberation Council reps who represent the issues that affect minority groups. Many of these reps sit on committees with college staff, and that gives us the chance to weigh in on the decisions that affect us. Around every two weeks we have a general meeting where all members can put forward motions that are discussed and voted on and these motions can be asking for money for student-run activities and events such as Sports Day or the International Food Festival or a motion that supports a student-led initiative or a local charity. The postgraduate community make up the MCR and they hold socials and events such as karaoke during the term. And just around the corner from here is the College Library. Hope smiles and turns away. In the library, a student pulls a book out to look at. Old leather-bound books run all along the shelf. Laura Cracknell. My name's Laura, I'm the college librarian and with Sarah, who's our library assistant, we're here to make sure you have everything you need to get your studies done. The college library is open 24-7 and Sarah and I can help you with anything from finding a book to how to put references into your essays. For your first year, we try and have everything that you need to get your work done. And after that, we try and buy every book that you ask us to, so that whatever you need, we're here to help. Colourful, modern books fill the management shelves. In speeded up footage, Charles walks through a narrow passage onto the quadrant. He stands between some flower beds in the corner. This is Old Quad, and here you've got various different rooms. You've got the academic office, the IT office, and also a lot of tutorial rooms as well. And a tutorial is a great opportunity to meet with experts in the field and find out about the latest academic discoveries. Now why don't you follow me and we'll see what's going on. Physics student Francesca Webb and Professor Alphonse Weber. Well I think that the tutorial system is actually incredibly useful. It gives you that time with a tutor in very small groups. It gives you that individual attention to ask any questions that you may have but also to gain some insight into why the work that you're doing is important. So to have a tutor who is a professional in the field that you're studying gives your work that bit of relevance and really brings home why you're doing the subject that you're doing. This is not a lecture, it's, no. it's a discussion point. I want people to have thought about the problem. They must not have solved it or, or gotten to the solution or gotten everything right. That's not really uh, what I'm looking for. They, they should have sought, they should have engaged with whatever was at hand so that we can have a useful discussion. I really like that I know my students, so I don't know them on the first day they are coming, but after two weeks I effectively know all my students and where their strengths and their weaknesses are. We do care yeah. about all of our students and, and, and I think that that's a very special relationship. Charles walks around the quadrant and through another passageway. He stands by a larger lawn, surrounded by beautiful old cream buildings. Now here we are in Chapel Quad, and this is a particularly special place in Pembroke. In the summer, you can play games like croquet on the lawn just there. That's if you don't have exams, of course. We've also got the chapel just here, and it's a place that's open all week to all faiths and none, and is a place specifically for quiet reflection, music and peace inside the ornately designed chapel. So here we are in the Damon Wells Chapel and we're going to talk about a typical day at Oxford. Charles, what's a typical day like for you? 
Well, Hope, um, every week we have one or two essays that we have to write and at the end of that we go to tutorials. Sometimes they're not even in Pembroke, sometimes you have to go to different colleges across Oxford and that means that you get to meet so many different people. And as well as that we have lectures in the faculty and that means that we you know, just have so many opportunities to mix with everyone really. What about you Hope? Yeah, so a typical day for me would be quite nine to five. I'd go into the department, um, have some lectures, um, have lunch where you can talk to people from different colleges who also study your course. And then we'd have a block practical that's around three hours long. We'd have a write-up, submit that. Um, and then during the week we'd have tutorials which we write essays for, but alongside essays we have problem sheets which we discuss within them. And now, from the old over to the new. Charles walks through the old campus to a large modern building. This is one of the newest parts of the college. Walk over the bridge from Chapel Quad and you find yourself in Rockos Quad, Pembroke's modern buildings which house student accommodation, a cafe, meeting rooms that you can book for studying or to host meetings, and a modern art gallery which puts on exhibitions each term. There is also the Pichette Auditorium which students make use of to organise their own events. Here's Elizabeth to talk about how she's made use of the Pichette Auditorium. So I'm one of the presidents of the History Society, um, meaning that I'm one of the people who have to organise um, some of the history events that we put on. If you come to a lecture with the staff and then afterwards have drinks with them, it's very easy to form a connection that goes beyond, oh, this is the person who tutors me. Um, so it's great because you can actually kind of learn more about the research they're doing and they can, in a sense, channel your tutorials to your interest because they know you. So it's just, it's a, it means you have a better learning experience, but it also means you just have kind of that community feel in the college itself. Charles goes down some steps and through large glass doors into the modern building. He stands in a light, open cafe area. And here we are at Farthing's Cafe, and students can come here to enjoy a wide range of food and drinks. It really does form the centre point of this inclusive and supportive community that we enjoy here at Pembroke. Welfare is of particular importance, and it occupies two major positions on the JCR committee. One welfare rep is Imi. Oxford is a fantastic place but it's also a really stressful place and there's a lot to do and so many opportunities but sometimes that means stress um, and of course students have lives going on outside of university as well so welfare is really important to make sure that everyone's on top of their game and they can perform as best as they can in their academics and enjoy their time here as well. So we deal with queries about Oxford traditions and just helping people to feel settled alongside some of the more serious stuff so we provide peer support, we've got six students trained in college who have had a sort of mini counselling training type thing, learning how to active listen and to point people in the right direction of support. Um, they deal with anything from mental health issues to bereavement to really whatever's on a student's mind, particularly work stress. Charles goes back up the cream concrete steps, over the footbridge and along paths lined with flower beds and low hedges. He enters a large old building with arched windows. Inside, portraits hang on the walls above long tables with red-backed wooden chairs. And this is the hall where you can enjoy meals either at lunchtime or in the evening where there are sometimes three course dinners on offer. There are also some very special dinners taking place across the academic year including guest formals or subject dinners. So that makes hall a really communal place that you can enjoy with friends and sometimes family. In speeded up footage, Charles walks along a pretty path around the quad through a stone arch with plants growing over it and into an open area with brick buildings. This is North Quad. Some people decide to live out of college for one year of their degree, but a great reason to choose Pembroke is that you have the option of living in college accommodation for three years if you like. Rooms range in price and size, and some are on suites and some have shared bathrooms. And after the first year, you can choose to live with friends on the same floor. There's also some off-site accommodation just a short walk away by the river called the Geoffrey Arthur Building. Outside the lodge. And that brings us to the end of our tour. Pembroke is located just off St Aldate's in the heart of Oxford. Some students choose to cycle around, but because we're so central, you can walk to most places and there is also a really good public transport system. Nearby are plenty of shops, supermarkets and amenities, so everything you need is on your doorstep. So we hope to see you soon. Goodbye.
pmb.ox.ac.uk slash visiting dash students. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at Pembroke Oxford.